This is the quickest way to find accounts in the internet. You can easily get the information about a person. You can monitor his activity and find his location. In this video, I will show you how hackers can easily find and track a person using specialized tools. When someone is trying to look up an information, the first thing he will do is to find usernames across social medias or other internet sites. There is a popular CLI tool that can be easily used for that. This is Sherlock, which is a tool that finds social media accounts by username. The advantage of this tool over others is that it will search across 400 social media accounts. For example, if we look for Mr. Holmes, it will return a long list of platforms where the username is found. I believe Mr. Holmes is just a fictional account created by someone to test tools like this. Under the hood, it is just sending requests to various endpoints. And most of them are accessible without the need to authenticate. There is a more powerful tool which can look up a person based from different information such as email, phone number, and name. This is Sherlock Eye, which is an online tool. There is a nice demo page here, so let's look into it. Let's see how we can track a person using email address. It shows us a nice overview on the main accounts the person is using. One of this is the possible GitHub repositories. But since this is just a demo account, we can't really see a repository here. Let's click on the image. This is telling us that Mr. Holmes has an account with Adobe, but the credentials is tied to a Google account. It also shows the account status and type. This will be useful for attackers since they will have an idea on which account they need to target. He also has an account in Notion, which can be used by an attacker to hunt for personal notes. So we need to be careful in putting notes containing sensitive information in online note-taking apps like Notion. In this part, we can see other usernames Mr. Holmes is using. This is one advantage over other tools. It can easily give you the other usernames from different social media platforms instead of manually searching it by yourself. Sherlock also gives you access to contact information such as phone numbers. This can be used not only by attackers, but also by scammers for phishing attacks. At the bottom right part, we see the data sources. It gives a nice overview of the source of information. Based from this, we can see that Mr. Holmes is very active in Google Maps. He also appeared in Have I Been Pawned, which is a site that contains email addresses that were included in past data breaches. Another major source of information for Mr. Holmes is via reverse, who is lookup. That means he has a public domain. A good way to avoid disclosing personal information when getting your own website is to apply for identity protection from registrars. Some offer this for free. If we go to the data tab, we will see a list of all the automated searches done by Sherlock I. We can easily filter here if we want to look for something like Facebook accounts. There is also a nice graph showing how the different accounts are connected. This can give attacker a better view of the person's online identity. The timeline part is interesting. This will allow you to track the online activity of the person. For example, if we sort this by the oldest entry, we see here that Mr. Holmes' first online presence is when he registered his domain in 2009. Then the recent activity shows us that Mr. Holmes is reviewing several places in Google Maps. So this is something to take into consideration if you like posting reviews to different sites. The last feature is about location tracking. Our online activities produce information such as coordinates. This shows us that Mr. Holmes is located in Brazil. And we also see here the exact spots where he traveled recently. This can be abused not only by hackers, but also by other individuals who has a bad motive against a person. As we see in this video, it is very easy for hackers to hunt their target using various OSINT tools. If you have a strong security requirements, you should protect yourself in different ways, such as using VPNs, leveraging unpredictable usernames, different email addresses, and avoid posting location in social media sites. I hope you learned something today. If you find my content valuable, please support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you on the next one.